Welcome back to Spicy Tech. I am Mark and today we have an exciting episode. It is going to be about us trying to mimic version 11 and how we are going to do that is through navigate on autopilot. We're going to try to enable automatic lane change, which would allow us to go on ramp and then make the automatic lane changes to the correct side and then go off ramp onto about two other highways. So we're going to have that aspect to it as well as the full self driving aspect, which is 10.69.25.2. And we're currently running it on average mode right now. So it's going to be a crazy ride it's going to be fun pack and hopefully we get the actual version 11 in the next two weeks so hang on tight if you like it click that like button subscribe click the notification bell and enjoy the ride we are on to the pseudo version 11 that we're creating here <laughs> so we have uh, we have the full self driving 10.69.25.2 it's on average mode uh, then we're going to customize, navigate on autopilot. I can require lane change to know. It tells us here that it, the vehicle is not autonomous. Make sure to keep your hands on the wheel and be alert. So yes. And what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to make sure the speed lane changes average too as well. Just to, I don't know, just from, from my consistency, <laughs> average FSD, average NOA, navigate on autopilot. And so we don't require lane change navigation, but we have lane change notification uh, both. So in case of anything, I can just take over immediately and disengage, navigate on autopilot. The course that we have for you today is, well, we're coming out from this parking lot and then we're going to enter in to the 400 highway. We're going to go all the way down to the 401, head east and then go all the way to 404 head north and then come off into uh, North York there so yeah well, let's see how it goes and um, again like subscribe click that notification bell and let's get it on so I'm gonna start it now I'll actually have to put it on drive and then start it yeah I was wondering if I had <laughs> to do that first actually <laughs> that would be a good idea so here we go all right now turn right onto Car Lauren Road. So I'll lower the speed a little bit here because it tends to accelerate a lot out of a parking lot. Now as we turn see left here. onto Jetland Drive. Okay. okay. It was supposed to not roll, it's supposed to stop. Stop completely. completely, yeah. So that was strange behavior. It's gonna bump it up now to 40. So that all these are in uh, all these are interventions, which I prefer not to have, but again. I'm hoping in the future there is a solution for that. Yeah, safety first though. Yes. Um, but that was weird. It was actually where I was sitting was on the line. I mean, it seems that that intersection seems to be having a lot of problems. Yeah, every time. <laughs> All right. Indicating right, but we have to go straight. Okay, that was better. Yep, good job, Marsha. So I'm hoping that Marsha brings us safely to our destination. Um, oh, and this I'm, is on safety. I'm trying to be positive and you know keep an open mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Once again into the right lane, but we have a left turn coming up in 300 meters. I wouldn't have done that. And now in we're going back. Meters, turn left onto Drive. To I mean, technically there. that's not wrong, but it's not ideal. Uh, but I just did it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think um, some ways I think we're drunk. We just crossed into yeah, that lane left while left making that turn. Drive. We have security checking up us, on us now. <laughs> 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 not our security, but somebody. Okay, Marsha stopped there and then we are taking our time and then we can go. This is a little bit fast but I like the I like the way that she did it in theory. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't that bad. No, it was it was good. It was good. A right turn here, we have a car coming up on the left. Created it created a safe zone, so that's fine. Now take the only yeah. south on the right. Where we're going, and uh, I mean, it's okay. So now we're going on to the highway. Um, 
it's pretty cool right now you know just a fyi it's minus nine probably feels like minus 15 or 16 and tomorrow is going to be even worse so that's going to yeah, be fun, gonna be fun. <laughs> well it's coming around the corner here really quickly yeah it's trying um, to get up to speed this is good though but um usually not around the corner yes because it was a bit shiny and i thought it had like some ice there it could because of the temperature so now we have navigator on the pilot it has auto lane change it is indicating well we're still on the fsd stack and we're making that left lane change okay that was that was fine it looks like we have to merge um to the left to get on the 400 I mean, we're, we're up to speed and we're She's going yielding. at speed and she, yeah, she is leading, um, yielding to the car that is merging that's merging but, at 70 kilometers an hour yeah, why is it <laughs> going 70 kilometers an hour uh, now, I'm a bit worried here because it's going to overtake this car do we have enough space to make that lane change yeah we have a decent amount of space it's up until like there that, that sign no, I would have started lane changing from now and yep. Yep. Well, go. That was actually kinda of good. I had to So the steering wheel vibrated. I yeah. wasn't sure if it was going to make that merge. So I actually intervened and okay. indicated. Yeah. Oh, you ended. You ended yeah. Indicated. I just indicated that I felt the the steering wheel vibrate. Yeah. And then it it prompted me to uh, to do the lane change, but I was assuming that it would make that lane change for me. But I let's see. That's let's how see. it works. Okay. Let's see how it goes. We might have another lane change coming up soon. That was good. It made that lane change. I just had to apply pressure um, and then it just made the lane change for us. And that lane change was pretty smooth. Okay. He wants to make another lane change here. And okay. I mean, we're good now. Problems have disappeared. Okay, it's actually slowing down. Okay. It's recognizing the weather, um, the weather speed, and it's slowing down. I'm not sure what that means. The the yellow speed sign. Oh, I see. Yeah. Or like the ramp speed usually. Yeah. It's coming back to speed. Nice. That gradual increase in speed to match mm. the traffic. As you merge on. It wants to make a left turn here. It may want to go in the express, it looks like. Let's see. Oh. Oops, oops, oops. So I had to disengage it. That's our first disengagement. person was coming into our lane here as we were turning yeah, exactly so that's not really our fault per se oh, we have a truck coming up here it slows down a little abruptly and we can go and accelerate okay and that was good the only thing is, uh, usually it, it accelerates pretty nice on the lane changes, but I felt like that was just lacking. Getting up to speed, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's but true. It, it usually, like, it's more like it it as it's going into the lane, it speeds up. Okay, so we can go. 
looks pretty good. Lane markings are a bit off on this road too as well. Yeah, it's just barely seeing them. I think it was because of the recent snowfall, the salt, corrosion, paint, doesn't mix. So I now it's like, also, yeah, there's, no, there's completely no lanes. Yeah, and it's also like the snow where it was, it's kind of like on where the line is. So it's kind of hard to see like what kind of line it is. I could also see how FSD can come and play here in terms of the actual navigation. It will help with the actual lane recognition. Yeah. Because it's two separate stacks, the navigating autopilot mightn't be as uh, well trained on lane trajectory. It's nagging a lot though. Yeah. Quite frequently. Yeah, and you're on it. I think it is. Oh, somebody's gaining on us. Okay, so I saw the car behind us on the left side approaching, and uh, it decided to cancel that. Even though, um, I mean, we could probably could have made it, but it's better to be safe. Yeah, I like that. And then it slowed down for that car to enter in the lane in front of us. So we just came off, well, we didn't just come off the, we came off the 400, we went on to the 400, uh, 401, which is taking us now east. And then the final highway will be the 404. And there's gonna be quite a number of uh, lane changes. But we've already done so much. It's handling pretty well. I'm actually really impressed with the how it's handling the lack of lane markings. Yeah, it is. Like I can barely see anything, but it it's staying pretty good in its lane. I think in reality, it actually does know where the lanes are, but it's not as confident. Uh. Because the lanes are, are appearing and disappearing very faintly, but like it's not really wrong about where the lanes are. No major phantom braking um, issues so far. Knock on steering wheel. <laughs> There's some wood over here. <laughs> some plastic wood. I'm just hoping that it's not too much. Uh, road noise because I'm hearing it a lot <laughs> from this car. Yeah, it's really windy today as well. Yeah. I wonder if that's affect if that affects it at all. Wind? Yeah, like if it's really windy. I mean it affects the efficiency, that's for sure. Oh yeah. Of and speaking of efficiency, what do we have? Okay, we have two oh one average at minus eight. Probably feels like minus sixteen. Which is alright, which is decent. It could be worse. <laughs> it's harassing you a lot. Yeah. Y you have your hand on it, right? Yes. Like, are you pulling on it, or like, how are you? How do you have it on? I have some some pressure on it. Okay. It's interesting that it's bothering you. But I can see why it's, it will start nagging a lot because... Well, um, we did have an issue with somebody like taking a nap doing that. Well, they made updates and I think some of that affected. I th Yeah, I'm sure they, they were under fire for that too, right? Despite the fact that it's the person who's responsible for doing that. Exactly, yeah. So it's good on them for, you know, trying to keep it, like keep the integrity of the system. Ok, 
Okay, so let's need to make that end change, and it does it really well, Marsha. Well done. That was nice. But it's really trying to find those lines right now. <laughs> so am I personally. Okay, there we go. We got like one indication of a line. Nice. So now we're gonna be heading now on to the last highway, the third highway. Yeah. The 404. So I'm gonna just hold steady here. A little okay. bit of phantom braking. -ish. That wasn't phantom braking, it was more slowing down for that turn. Yeah, but I don't think it should be that abrupt. It's usually more subtle, right? And you do it from earlier. Uh, not really. That was decent. There were no cars around me. That was good. Yeah, I mean, more because there's no cars around, that's okay, but, you know. Is it going to overtake this truck, though? This truck is going... This truck is blowing a lot of dust. It looks like a... Some snow piercing on the back of that truck. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's what it is. So I'm glad it's keeping its distance. It's not overtaking though, that's the thing. Uh, it doesn't need to. This is going to be a very interesting part here. We have to find ourselves all the way to the right hand side. Let's see what she does. <laughs> Alright. Okay, start indicating, but I would start accelerating. Not too sure why it's defaulting at 90. 90. So okay. I'm go here. Alright, we're almost there. Yep, let's go. Oh, somebody's uh, coming in hot. Okay. okay. The last one. Yep, yeah, buddy! <laughs> oh, we're still alive. <laughs> so that was that was really quick. I mean, granted that we're not It in... took its time, but like it was, it made it in time. Yeah, it did. So I would yeah. say, you know, like this so far has been a zero disengagement drive. And I mean, this is similar to what it, it sh how it should perform or even better. Uh, not too sure why it made that stop there on the turn when a car was behind me. Um, but it, it was pretty much um, really good. It was, it was decent. Yeah, it was decent, but I think it should be able to handle that kind of situation. So imagine now yeah. folks that version 11 hopefully <laughs> is going to be better than this that is going to be amazing that's going to be i really want to see how it performs because that will be next level well it's supposed to be better right it, it is supposed to be and i'm hoping that with the fsd merging and having that single stack we will have better lane project uh, trajectory better better lane projection and so because I did find um, Marsha was, was trying to find the lane to figure out whether or not she should be um, you know more in the center of the lane that it's trying to project so I'm hoping that with FSD it makes it uh, better and then also with FSD it should perform more natural in rush hour traffic on the highways in terms mm -hmm. of stop and go traffic like if it's bumper to bumper traffic it should um, it should perform better because right now with navigator autopilot it's a little bit jerky it's it's either it's like a switch it's either acceleration stuck completely acceleration so it's it's not really smooth so i'm hoping fsd brings right. that change i would have liked to see actually what it was going to do like if it was just going to keep swerving between the two lanes or if it was just going to like stop <laughs> we have a final turn here oh, no. it starts indicating right off the bat and the car behind me is good now we have a unprotected left turn here 
is it gonna try to make that turn quickly? I wouldn't really. So that was good. It did it safe. The person is going really slow. I think could have been done, but yeah, I think that they just this one. I wouldn't. Mm. This person's actually going faster than yeah, the other person. They were. I guess uh, Marsha was. <laughs> She's impatient. Impatient. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, here we go, folks. It's taking us now into the parking lot to it McDonald's. <laughs> it's not going to park for us. But <laughs> I mean, hopefully version 11 brings that upon us, you know, so that way we will be blessed now you're <laughs> on the with version 11.3. Uh, it literally is taking us to McDonald's right now. Yeah, I want to see it go in front. <laughs> and, I mean, let's see. Let's see if it's going to take us. And there we go. Nice. We're going to have some nice, healthy yeah. McDonald's for, for dinner. <laughs> and as always, thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, click that notification bell. It will help us out. And we do appreciate all the support. We love creating this content. So help us out. And um, thank you. Have a good night. Bye. Bye-bye.